I'm going to stop the Wireshark capture. And what I'm going to do now is delete these links to the hub. And let's see if we have the same effect when we connect to a switch. So I'm going to connect the three routers to a switch rather than to the hub. I'll run that Wireshark capture again on the FOST Ethernet port of router one. So on router three, ping router two. We don't see the ICMP messages on router one. If I telnet from router three to router two, we don't see the telnet messages or the password. Just to prove this, once again, if I ping router two, router one doesn't see the traffic, but if I ping a broadcast address, here's the broadcast sent from router three, and router one is replying to that broadcast. And you can see that reply here on router three. So I'll stop the capture, run it again, on fast ethernet zero zero on router one. Router three is pinging router two. Nothing is shown, but a broadcast is captured in Wireshark because in a switch, unicast traffic sent from router three to router two will be received on port three and sent out of port two only. It won't be sent out of port one, but if router three sends a broadcast, that traffic will go out of all ports on the switch in the same VLAN. And this switch by default has all ports configured as access ports in VLAN one. So in that case, router one sees the broadcast from router three, but does not see the unicast traffic sent from router three to router two when using a switch. When using a hub, however, router one is able to see all traffic because a hub is a layer one device and will replicate traffic out of all ports except the port on which it was received, whereas a switch will only send unicast traffic out of specific ports.